well hi everyone so welcome back the first command we'll be learning today is the clear command it is a very easy command and it will help us to remove all the commands and operations in the terminal so that it will be clear and we'll be pro able to proceed once again so as i type enter you will see all the previous operations are deleted from the terminal uh, well not deleted but visibly removed you can say so the next command i'll be showing you guys is the df command what the df command does is that it will show us the disk space usage of the system uh, so if as i do, do df and press enter you will see the disk space uh, the disks use uh, in the system and the spaces used and available for each of the disks and uh, if you want a more user friendly uh, environment of disk uh, space usage then you can do my dash h and as you press enter you can see the sizes in gb mb and so on all the previous uh, memories right here are in KB, but uh, if you want a more de uh, user friendly uh, or human friendly uh, memory space usage, you can see here. This is 377 MB and so on. This is the used data, how much space is used by the disk and the available space and the usage per percentage and so on, uh, where it is mounted on, in which uh, directory and so on. Uh, so. The next command I'll be showing you is the du command. Du command is similar to df command, but instead of the disk spaces, it will show us the file system usage, uh, the files and the spaces uh, used by the directories and the files. So as I do du, and uh, let me, uh, for example, go to the tutorial directory. Okay, let me do du tutorial. And as I press enter, you will see all the spaces used by each directory and file inside the tutorial directory. So we have to keep in mind that these are all k in KB. And the last here, the, the, the tutorial one yeah, and the 44 here signifies the total space used by the tutorial directory, which is 44. And these are all in KB. So once again, if you want a more human friendly environment, you could uh, do dash H and then tutorial. And here you can see these all are in KB. So a spare uh, extra K is added at the end of each memory. So it's pretty clear. And uh, one more thing I would like to show you is uh, that we did uh, the du command here inside a directory. What if we did du command just inside our uh, room, uh, our home directory basically. So as I press, uh, press enter, you can see they, these are the tons and tons of uh, files and directories inside our home directory which occupy so much space right so you can see collectively all the uh, music the any anything which uh, the directories the home directories has so these are the spaces used by each fo file and directory right here so now that we have cleared that up let me clear up my terminal once again and so the next command i will be showing you is the P A S P A double S W D, which stands for password. It will help us to change a password for any user. So suppose uh, we did in the previous day that we uh, we could add any user using the add user command, right? So suppose I had uh, I had already previously uh, you uh, added a user named Soap. So if I do password Soap, so and I press enter, it will ask us for a new password. So it, the basic utility of this command is to help us change the password of the, any user. So as I type, retype a new password, for example, let me do, and again, so, okay, so that was a mistake on my part. I will do that. And as I enter a password and retype it, and you can see the password has been updated successfully. The new password has uh, has been uh, uh, restored instead uh, in place of the uh, previous one. And the last command, which uh, for the today's video, will be the dig command. So, what is the dig command? The dig command basically uh, help us to uh, de resolve queries regarding a DNS server. So, to check if the DNS server is working properly, and if we uh, if we get the IP address of any domain 
properly we can say that the dns server is working properly so we can see that using the dip command for example let me see the use the domain of google and press enter so now you can see i have got the ip address of google right here and the uh, let me uh, say uh, something more about this uh, so this is a the a here signifies the ip address in ipv4 format the ns here uh, signifies the name servers so these are the name servers of google and again the single a will represent ipv4 addresses and the 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 four a's right here will uh, represent the ip addresses in ipv6 format so as you can see these are the ip addresses in v v uh, ipv6 format and these are in ipv4 format uh so you you can also see the query time the time taken to solve the query that is 10 millisecond and uh, the server which i have uh, used is uh, 192.168.1.1 and uh, we can also see the date when i had sent the query which is 1347 or 147 pm uh, and you can here in the header 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 section you can see we have a query one an answer so this is the query section which is the question section basically so i had uh, requested for google and this is the answer section right here so this uh, the answer yeah, they have given me the answer the ip address of google which is 172.217 to 0.166 and 2.206 so that is the basic utility of dig command and uh, we use this to see that the dns server is working properly and to see the name servers and ip addresses of any particular domain as we wish okay so thank you guys that's it for today's video and we will soon see you in the next video thank you bye